Hey math kids, today we're going to talk about sine and cosine. So the previous video was just really quick about uh, periodic behavior and the two most common periodic functions that we'll deal with in this class are going to be sine and cosine. Let's see, my computer's going slow. There we go. So if we have sine x, and then I'll draw cosine x over here. Um, they're just a one or a 90 degree phase shift from each other. So sine starts at the origin, oops, and then goes a period like that. And the full period of sine is 2 pi. So right there's 2 pi, this is 0. And then if we think about the maximum, it's 1, the minimum negative one. Okay. Now, um, this is half the period, so that's pi. You see right here is going to be pi halves, where that peak is. This valley is at three pi halves. Okay. You may remember these specific values from the unit circle, and that's because it's related. So if we have the unit circle, If we start in our regular starting spot, we go uphill until we reach pi halves. And my computer's going slow. I apologize. Okay, now um, that's like the, going from here to here. See how we're going uphill, and then we get to the highest point right here, which is at 1. And if we look at the y value right here, it's at 1. Now, on the circle, if we rotate down from there, we end up at pi. Notice how we rotate down. We end up at pi. And notice that our y value is 0 right here. Our y value right here is also 0. Now, if we continue down, we go down. See how this goes down to the lowest point, which is 3 pi halves and we have a y value of negative 1 right here, which we also see over here. And I need one more color. Now we're going to go up. We go up. Notice that our y value is 0, our y value is 0, and our value right here is 2 pi. Okay. Now cosine, like I said, is just a 90 degree phase shift, or if we're on the unit circle, we're going to start here instead of here. And so cosine just looks like this. It's still periodic, still has the same maximum, same minimum. The half period is pi. The full period is 2 pi. And then um, this point right here would be 3 pi halves. And this would be This would be um, pi halves. Okay. Once again, um, <clears throat> I'll use the same colors. But if we start right here, we go down. And so that's green. And then we do that piece. And then we do that piece. And finally, we end with the red piece. And so we still do a full circle, but we just start at the top and go around. Okay, sine, cosine. Another way to think of how they're related to each other, if I take this point right here and I shift it to the axis, that's going to leave this extra point coming up right here. And if I just look at it from here to here, do you see that that's the same pattern as cosine? So really, if we take sine and we shift it to the left, by pi halves or 90 degrees, then we end up with cosine. Okay, that's essentially it for, yep, that is everything that we need to know. So, calculator.